Welcome to Draw Studio. Today we're going to talk about ellipses and how to draw cylinders in isometric perspective. Let's get started. An ellipse is simply a circle tipped in space. If we take this circle and lay it down, it will become an ellipse. A perfect ellipse can be divided in half through the widest points. The longer of these lines is called the major axis, and the shorter of these lines is called the minor axis. Each section of the ellipse will be perfectly equal. In a perfect ellipse, the corners will always be rounded. They should never come to a point or be pinched. Ellipses will change shape depending on how they relate to the viewer. A horizontal line through the viewer's eye level represents the horizon line. An ellipse that sits on the horizon line is represented as a straight line. If the ellipse moves above the horizon line, it will start to become more open. And the farther above the eye level, the more we are looking up, and the more open the ellipse will become. This is true when we go below the eye level as well. The same applies to a vertical line that goes through the viewer's center of vision. An ellipse in the center will be a straight line and become more open as they move away from the center of vision. We name ellipses by their degree. The more open an ellipse is, the larger the degree is. A 5 degree ellipse is very narrow. A 95 degree ellipse would be almost circular. A cylinder is two ellipses connected with straight lines. The major and minor axis of a cylinder in isometric perspective will be going in the same direction. We can also think of these as the X and Y line systems. The lines that connect the ellipses will be Z lines, and a line that connects the X axis of the two ellipses together would also be a Z line. If we take a cylinder and turn it in space, the ellipse will get wider as it faces us. If we look at the different stages as it turned, notice the length of the cylinder has gotten shorter as it has spun around. Now if we line the different stages up, we can see that the major axis has stayed the same height, but the minor axis has changed as it faced us. By changing the length of the cylinder and making the degree of the ellipse more open or closed, we can give the sense that the cylinders are moving in space. Now let's practice drawing some ellipses and cylinders together. When you draw your ellipses, don't use just your fingers. Use your whole hand and arm in the motion. Don't try to just draw it as a clean, perfect line. Try to feel the roundness of the ellipse, and draw it in sweeping curves. Change up the angle and the degree of the ellipse as you draw. Not everyone will be perfect. Just keep going. If you get a bad one, that's fine. Just try to make the next one better. Mix in some circles too. See how round you can get them. Keep in mind that curves are more difficult to get correct than straight lines. So do your best, but don't get frustrated if it takes you a while to find a good rhythm. Fill up page after page with the ellipses. The more you practice, the better you'll get. Now let's draw some cylinders. Start the same way with an ellipse, and then draw two parallel lines that come from the corner of the ellipse. Use ghosting on the original ellipse to build up muscle memory and try to match the bottom ellipse as perfectly as you can to the first one. Change the angle and degree of the ellipses and the length of the cylinders to create a sense that the cylinders are moving in space. When you draw the second ellipse, always draw through it like the first. This will give the ellipse roundness and avoid those pinched corners. This is another exercise you can't do enough of. It's also a great warm-up exercise to get your arm loose before you start a drawing session. If a cylinder looks off, use some construction lines to help you fix it. Find the major and minor axis and make sure they're parallel. And remember, those also relate to the X, Y, and Z lines. These will help you keep the cylinder looking solid and correct in space. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to go to drosh.com for more information on these topics and many more. If you want to see more videos like this, like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you for the next one.